Yo, yo. So let's read what these steps here are, okay? So the first step, whoa, okay. So scientific progress is made by asking meaningful questions and conducting careful investigations. Okay, so meaningful questions. This is what I was talking to you about that, you know, I'm not going to ask you. If I'm trying to know what food you have, I'm not going to ask you. So what's the weather like outside? Because that's not going to answer my question, right? Yeah. Okay. So, as a basis for understanding this concept and addressing the content in the other three strands, students should develop their own questions and perform investigation. Actually, you know what? I think this paragraph is for the teacher, not for the student, because it has a lot of hard words. Yeah, we said it. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah. Students will. Yeah. You read. I'm going to relax. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, so I'm going to skip all this because this is for the teacher. And for this the... is your homework. <laughs> okay, so. Here, we can talk about observation now. So this is the first step, okay? Remember your um, little boxes? This is on my first notebook, and I've thrown away the notebooks. Okay. So as long as you remember. So are you an observant person? You yes. might You might look out the window to see if it is raining. You might even listen for rain on the windowsill. You make observations throughout your day. Observations of the world around us are often raise questions. The diagram on this page shows processes that scientists use to answer questions. Many call this the scientific method. Scientists don't always use all of the steps. They may not use them in the same order. Okay, so I think I am an observation person. In the sunny day, there I can hear the wind blow. Okay. Yeah. And in not sunny day, I can see sun shining, light, but if a tree shines on it, now the lights won't get pretty in. Just a light. Yeah, very good. So all of those are, you know observations and there's all there's many many different ways of uh making observations every day right so like mm -hmm. you said you can just listen or you can look or you can you know smell something or you know anything if you mention it i smell something spicy <laughs> you smell something spicy and i can smell rice rice soup Mm, very good. So yeah, all of those are you're you are observing, right? You're observing what's yeah. around you. Okay, so go ahead and read this, Alita, please. Are you an observation person, Estefania? Observant. Observance person. I am. I really am. You might look at a window and it's out of your window to see if it's rainy. You might even listen for the rain on the wind. So you make observe. Oh, this is a tongue twister. Observation through your day. Observation. Observations. The, observation of the world around us often rise questions. The diagram on this page show processes that Pro processes processes that scientists use to answer questions. Many call this the scientific method. Scientists don't always use all the steps. They might they may not use that in the same order. Very good. Okay, so that 
little thing that we did on the first day of class was called the scientific method.